Hey guys, it's Friday, Thanksgiving weekend, it's puck time, and I, myself, am Lawrence Presman, the Prez. Tons to talk about today, lots of NHL day games, which we're going to race through real quick, and then we're going to take apart three night games uh, in depth. We also have some amazing Thanksgiving promotions to talk to you about. Uh, guys, I just want to let you know, I've seen Carm already, uh, I want to apologize for the shirt he's wearing. And of course, uh, Andrew McGinnis is on, and well, Andrew and I have a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. Hey boys! Yeah, Carm, uh, nice shirt. It is. You'll be seeing this uh, tomorrow night at the Leaf Sabres game at the Scotiabank Arena that I'm taking you to the game. Uh, it'll be uh, uh, two wins in a row for the Sabres, because uh, they they play at 4 o'clock today. Side so, wager? Uh, uh, yeah, loser shaves his head. Oh, a funny guy! Ho, ho, ho! Carm's always so quick with hey, that one. That's his go-to. But, because uh, I don't want to come back to this later, so I'll, I'll do it now. Because, uh, Lawrence, you are you love music. Uh, you're right in tune with it. This is something that you will hear quite often uh, over the next two days when the Sabres and the Leafs play. Are you ready? Okay. You uh, done? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Andrew, supposedly <laughs> I'm really mean to you, man. Like oh, some of these guys put comments up that I'm mean to you and I, I don't get it, dude. I mean, why would I be anything but mean to you? Honestly, I man, I haven't slept in days. Uh my life's been horrible since our last show together. It's uh it's been Yeah, rough, I know, but, dude. I, no, no, I, on, on a serious note, look, to everybody out there, all the viewers out there, um, it, it's just you, you don't know Prez, and that's just the way it is. And for all a lot of people out there as well don't know that he's you know the co-founder of the company as well, saying get him off the show. Well, he actually owns the company, so no one's going to get him off the show. But we we have a good back and forth. Like I, The more I get comfortable as well, the more I'm going to give it back as well, and Prez has no problem taking it if I can give it back as well. And... It's all just, I, I take it as a compliment that he's like comfortable chirping me. If he wasn't comfortable with me, he wouldn't say anything to me. That's kind of the way I say it. And, uh, you know, I'm a young guy. Like everybody always talk, calls me the kid. I'm younger. That's how I am with my friends. And, uh, you know, these guys are friends of mine. I feel comfortable the fact that he's willing to chirp me and different things. I mean, you know, when I, don't you think when I got back home to my house, my roommates were chirping me about cheering for the Bruins? Obviously. So if Prez was a real friend of mine, uh, you know, then he would do the same thing. That's just the way I see it. So, you know, like I, if I would expect nothing less, honestly. So, Andrew. obviously, the viewers, I, I appreciate the respect. They're they're sticking with me. They're you know they they got my back. But uh, when it comes down to it, we're we're all here. I, we we do the show every day together, and uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all, all love. Okay, Andrew, I, I'm here to protect you. If uh, Lawrence gets out of line tomorrow, I will beat him like the Atlanta Falcons. That's what I'll do to him. <laughs> okay, so Carm, do you know what we're talking about? Andrew goes yes, to... Yes, I, 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 I read all the comments, um, and, but I have to agree with the Prez on this one. Is There's no way I would ever go to... Uh, I get invited to Leaf games all the time, and literally exactly. my Facebook... all the time. I, and, and, no, but I, and I check in. No, no, but I get invited to the games. I go to the games. I check in on Facebook, and I'm like, go other team. And I cheer for whoever the Leafs are playing. It's just the way it is. Uh, the Leafs and Sabres are rivals. I could never cheer for the Leafs. Uh, it's I'm, just I'm, it's it's just the the way it is. I'm gonna pull the, the 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 Teddy, Ralph, and Dave on us right now and say, let's get to some hockey. I, I got a place to be here. Oh yeah, uh, is it uh, warm and moist? <laughs> that was this morning, but I'm going to get fitted for a suit. Jesus, Carm, this guy gets a ton of action in the morning. I mean, morning action is good. I prefer it later on when I can actually move. Uh, no comment. Okay, guys, let's get this. Let's get to some business. Um, huge Black Friday uh, sale going on, both at Sports Memo. 
and wager talk. Here's the bottom line. It's uh, it, I, it's in the right hand corner of the screen. Uh, Forty percent off of any ninety day or one year all sports package. Forty percent off of any ninety day or one year all sports package. Use the coupon code Black Friday. Now here's the bottom line, guys. We have close to 40 handicappers uh, all together between the two websites. I don't know, 32 or something like that. I am going to tell you which two guys to buy for the entire year at 40% off. You want to know the answer, Andrew? What do you think, Andrew? Who? who, who? And not you, Andrew. Uh, you've been talking about Tony a lot, so I feel like you're going to say Tony. Uh, Tony and... Tony and Dave? Tony okay, and... so I would pick Tony second. I think Carmine Bianco would be my number one choice. I was uh, going to say that, but I didn't know if you'd mention him because he's on the show. I didn't know... If and gonna... Carm, I want to make a suggestion to you, dude. Okay. I think that you could separate yourself uh, if you don't release the parlays you play every night, but if you do put them in for your all access customers. Because, man, I've seen, not only have I seen your parlays, I've actually had to go to Vegas and cash your damn parlays. Yes, you did. And I uh, appreciate that. I don't think there's, I, I honestly, between you and Tony, I don't, I, I think I, I could put you and Tony up against anybody on the planet. That's, uh, that's quite the compliment. I appreciate it. Um, uh, listen, uh, we're listening. This, this, this business is, this business is all about swings and, and, and you understand, uh, um, a week and a half ago, I was I was sick as a dog, and, and maybe it kind of affected me. Uh, I was still putting in all the work, but I, I was losing games that I I, I thought were sure wins, um, and then that's followed up with like uh, the last couple of days. You know, what I mean, uh, winning like eight out of nine plays. Um, it the, the swings are it, it's just the way it goes sometimes. I have to say, since we're this is a hockey show. Uh, the other night, uh, and, and Prez, you got my message. I, I was completely pissed. Um, I had three games, and I went two and one in NHL. And the one that I lost was the Nashville game where they allowed a goal with uh, 0.3 seconds left. It was so, on. We watched it by <laughs> text together. It was unbelievable. They took the they took the puck into the corner with like five seconds left, and and usually. When that puck goes into the corner, the guy just freezes it against the boards with his skate and the five seconds run out. But somehow uh, it, it was thrown out in front of the net and and uh, and he buried it with 0.3 seconds left. I'm like, you got to be shitting me on this. Uh, and, I, and as a gambler, as a handicapper, as a better, whatever you want to call it, when you, that game goes to overtime... All, all the, all the negative thoughts come to your head, which is, I'm going to lose this game. And it just, it just happens, <coughs> and uh, it should have been a three and zero night. It wasn't. Uh, it's what happens. But um, hey, we have a shitload of. Okay, games so here's how today is going to go, Carm and Andrew. We're going to do the last minute of play in the first minute. We're going to race through all the early games, and then we're going to talk a little bit in depth on the late games. Uh, remember, everybody, use the coupon code Black Friday, 40% off of any 90-day or one-year all-sports package. If I were you guys, I would pick Tony or Carm. Um, if you want college, you, do you do college basketball, Carm? Uh, I'm, uh, I did some of it last year. I will be doing uh, 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 this year, but uh, I usually take the first uh, month or six weeks the six weeks and put together a uh, database of games and, and how they're coming along. So uh, NBA do not uh, do not do, but college basketball. We have two, Andrew, we have two corporate guys in our company. You know, Carm's an accountant. I actually learned that recently. And Jeff at Oscar Sports is a lawyer. Okay, let's go, boys. Uh, literally 10 seconds. Just, you know what? Just say the damn team. Anaheim, Winnipeg. Anaheim minus 125 over and under five and a half, Andrew. 
Winnipeg. And Carm? Anaheim. Anaheim. Money's been coming in on Anaheim since last night. Anaheim. Well, all because money's been coming in on Anaheim last night. No, that's not that's not the reason for it. I think it's a bad spot for the Jets. And, you know, I've been backing the Jets. Uh, I, I, I like the Ducks here. They're playing much better. Um, I laid 109 last night, and it's a uh, buck and a quarter. Uh, San Jose, minus 155, playing the Kings over and under six. And I like the Sharks here in regulation. Andrew? I'm going to go with the over in this one. Uh, San Jose is scoring, but uh, you know what? L.A. scored a decent amount of their night, and I feel like they're going to give them a run for their money. Uh, Carmine? Uh, I'm against Andrew on this one. Uh, I like the under. The Kings put in like a master class uh, defensive display against the Islanders. Uh, Colorado, after a amazing third period, uh, I went 3-0 and in NHL two nights ago. Uh, I did not play any yesterday, so I'm on a 3-0 and hockey run, and I want to stop there. Andrew, do you remember the show on Wednesday when I told everybody how I went 2-0 and on Saturday, then released my five-star on the New York Islanders on Monday, it lost, passed on Tuesday. Do you remember what I told everyone would happen on Wednesday? Yeah, did, did it happen? Yes, 3-0. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so thanks to everybody who uh, jumped on board. Uh, Colorado uh, against Chicago, pick them game over and under six. I like the over. Andrew? Over two, an obvious pick. Uh, both teams involved in higher scoring games relatively. And I already used my maximum amount of words, so it's on to Carm. Carmine? <laughs> uh, I like the Blackhawks. Uh, in all honesty, I know that they've, uh, lost three of the last four. Uh, a couple of them were bad spots. Uh, they're playing very well now. Uh, I'm taking them at home to beat Colorado. Uh, Andrew, Minnesota minus 175 against Ottawa. And Ottawa put up a hell of a fight against Boston. Uh, the over and under here is five and a half. And I think there's going to be very few goals scored. Yeah, I, I do have a little bit more notes in this one, guys, so I, I want to read some of them out. Read them out, the Andrew. Last, read them out. Six of the Wild last seven games have been one-goal one games. So, you know what? Even though this team's been playing decent hockey, they've been coming back in some games or playing against some tougher teams, all of those six of the last seven have been one-goal games. Ottawa's been competing two close losses to both Boston and Columbus, but besides those games, they have won five of their last six before those two losses. So, Surprisingly, looking at the schedule, the Sens have actually looked pretty good. Uh, I actually bet last night at minus 140, the Senators plus one and a half goals. I think they'll compete in this one. They showed a good defensive effort against Boston. Uh, and while, and the Wild are actually overachieving right now. So I'm on the Sens plus one and a half. Carmine? Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, it, it might be a good spot to take Ottawa. Uh, Dubnik's not ready yet. Uh, he's going to need some time. Uh, it's going to be uh, Capo Kakonen in net tonight. He's only he's only played one game. He won it. Uh, he's crapping uh, him. Uh, very funny, but uh, yeah, no uh, Nielsen in net for for Ottawa. He's probably the well, he is their best goalie. So um, we'll take Ottawa. The small upset here. Uh, Buffalo in a free fall plus one forty playing the mighty Toronto Maple Leafs on a three nothing. Winning streak with Sheldon Keefe behind the net. Uh, it says Anderson's in net here, but that's not true. Hutchison's in net tonight. Um, I think there's going to be a ton of points scored, a ton of goals scored in this game. I like the over, Andrew. Yeah, I'm riding the uh, Maple Leafs right now, and uh, I have been since their coaching change, and I still think this is a good opportunity to. I got them last night and gave this out at uh, the website as a free play. Puck line minus, or plus 155 uh, for the Maple Leafs. So I'm sorry, Carmine. I just think that uh, the Leafs are still going to keep rolling over the Maple Leafs. And the Buffalo Sabres, 2-11 and in their last 13 games. And I, I really do feel like Michael Hutchison is a, a better goalie than we're giving him credit for. He's a proven winner at different levels. Sure, he has a 4.4 goals against average at the NHL level this year. He was not put in a position to succeed. And, you know, Mike Babcock putting him in the second half of back-to-backs. Uh, here he is in the first half against the worst team, or I guess in the start, I guess it's the same team. But I feel like we get the job done here. Uh, and this team is scoring 4.67 goals per game their last three games. Uh, they put up six goals and allowed zero goals against, against Detroit uh, in their last outing. Uh, I expect uh, Toronto to roll. 
Carm, I just got a news notification. Uh, Peters has been fired as the coach of the Calgary Flames. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, such a shame, eh? I mean, I hear it, it he's is. a really nice racist. It, it is, um, but we're living in a new uh, um, a new world now. Um, you can't do what he did, even though he apologized shortly after. Uh, it is it is what it is. Um, to add something that Andrew talked about, um, I don't think you can uh, you can really blame Babcock on, um, let's say, putting Hutchinson in, in the wrong spot. I think it's just the way the Leafs were playing. Babcock, in his time with the Leafs, uh, is... Uh, on the second half of back-to-backs, uh, was 70% with the Leafs with his goalie selection. He's always started the backup in the second game. Keith is doing a little different. He's starting uh, the backup today as opposed to tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what he can do. Um, I, you know, these Buffalo-Toronto uh, games are always rivalries. Um, the, the arena today is going to be jam-packed uh with leaf jerseys uh there um one of our friends steve is at the game yeah i know uh, uh at the game so um yeah we'll be at tomorrow night's game and uh since we're on this game i'm gonna make this really quick longer than 10 seconds uh this is a contest to win one of three uh seven day all access nhl packages of mine in the comment section of this video i want you to tell us who is going to win tomorrow night's leafs uh, uh, Sabres game and what you think the final score is. If you get the game, if you pick the, the correct team, you get one entry. If you get the correct score, you get an additional entry. And I am going to post on Twitter. You'll be able to see virtually live who wins the three. It's going to be completely random between all the winning entries. Um, just make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the most important part of this whole contest. And then uh, tomorrow, obviously, pick the Sabers five to two final over the Leafs, um, or somewhere around there. And uh, he wants them to win the contest. And on Monday, <laughs> well, well said, Andrew. <laughs> three people will definitely win. So this isn't one of those contests where. Okay, you know, I'm going to talk about it on buck right, so. time as anyway. well. So the bottom line, guys, because Carmine was so bloody loquacious. You have to be a subscriber to our YouTube channel. Put up who's going to win the game tomorrow night between Buffalo and Toronto. Pick a score. You get one entry if you're right, one entry if you got the score right. Carm will do some kind of raffle, blah, 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 blah. And uh, three people will win seven-day all-access pass, right? Or just NHL. 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 Seven-day NHL package uh, free from Carmine. And let me tell you guys, that seven-day package could be worth, you know, two, three thousand bucks. Um, Philadelphia minus 280 against Detroit over and under six. Uh, I'm not touching this game, Andrew. Yeah, I, I have a lean to the under in this game. And uh, I, I bet it last night as well. I didn't think it would really go anywhere. But uh, Anthony Mantha is still injured for the Detroit Red Wings. He's their best player, their highest scorer. Uh, both these teams struggling in general. Detroit one and eleven last twelve road games, one and six last seven versus the Flyers, zero and seven last seven games. Uh, you know they're flying. I would look at even the first period under in this one. I think we're going to see very low goals in this one. Uh, defensive mindset's going to have to be one of the things that both teams come in with. If you're not scoring, at least you have to come in with a defensive presence. Uh, and, and shockingly, we're seeing a six here. So, you know, based off that effort that Detroit gave forward against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, I know that Leafs are playing good hockey right now, but that was pathetic defensively, and they couldn't even do anything for themselves. So uh, initial gut instinct, uh, and after looking over the stats, uh, was definitely the under in this one. Carmine? Uh, it, it's a, a flyer here for me. Uh, Hart's been great in uh, in November, 5-2-2, two and two, 205 goals against average, 921 save percentage um, in November, like I said. They won three of four. They picked up points in all four. The one game that they lost, uh, we were on the Flames against them uh, in Philadelphia. But they're playing well, and there's just nothing you can tell me that can make me back to Detroit Red Wings right now. They are the worst team in the league. 6 uh, nothing last time out against the Leafs. 2 nothing the, night, the game before that, and then allowed five goals, five goals. They're just, they just keep allowing goals. They're going to keep allowing four to five goals. Um, it's the Flyers today for me and on the puck line. 
Uh, Washington. And I would say, sorry, Andrew. I would say maybe even team total as well. If you like the Flyers, go for go ahead with the team total, like Carm said. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, you know the Flyers are going to score here, guys. I mean, D Detroit uh, plays with uh, six skaters, no goalies, so uh, you're pretty <laughs> much uh, going to get your goals. Um, Washington minus 115 against Tampa Bay. A six and a half is the total. This is going to be a great hockey game. Uh, I lean to the over, Andrew. Uh, I lean to the over as well, and uh, I think it goes through. I also lean to Tampa Bay. You know, a lot of numbers would not really back me saying this. I mean, this is a, a team that is playing different hockey. When I was in the show with you the other day, Prez, we talked about them playing St. Louis. Uh, they have played back-to-back -back horrible games against St. Louis. Uh, you know, they ended up managing to at least a decent performance in the third period out of them, but uh, they're getting scored on a lot easier than they were uh, in the past. And Vasilevsky's not really looking like himself, uh, which definitely helps out our over. I mean, they're going to score themselves, but they're certainly getting scored on. They're not shutting anybody out by any means. Uh, and we all know what Washington's capable of doing. It's shocking. They only scored one goal against New York and one goal against Vancouver. So hopefully that game against Florida will wake them up and they'll start scoring again and uh, get this over the total for us. Yeah. Uh, Carm, any thoughts on this game? Yeah, I, I think Tampa Bay is starting to become the Tampa Bay they were last year. Um, you look at it, they've won six of their last nine. Two of those losses were to the Blues and, and to uh, Winnipeg's Jets team that was playing lights out hockey, um, finally. But they're scoring goals. So you look at the, look at their sheet, and like there's nine, a five, a six, another five, yeah. four. They're finally getting that scoring back that they didn't have at the beginning of the season. And I actually think that trip to Stockholm probably helped them. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I, I'm I'm gonna take Tampa Bay here because you're getting a pretty good price. Uh, guys, quick news update: Google just uh, did another very important news story. Uh, Jason Garrett not fired yet. I do not get, uh, and, and we discussed this previously. I know it's a hockey show, but the Dallas Cowboys can still turn around their season uh, and uh, and. Get a playoff spot because right now, even though they have the division lead, Philadelphia will win this weekend. They'll both be six and six. Philly has a cupcake schedule the rest of the way. Uh, yeah. Giants twice, Washington once. They're going to play Dallas in, in in Philadelphia, and that game will determine yeah. who makes the playoffs and who doesn't. But I'll tell and, you something. I mean, here's the bottom line, guys. Uh, we're going to find out one day that Jason Garrett, with his lobster face uh, and red hair, uh, is actually the illegitimate child of Jerry Jones, uh, and when Jerry uh, gave birth, when Jerry's uh, nanny or whatever gave birth to him, uh, he was promised to be able to coach the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, that I, I just want to say, Prez, that you know what's going on right now with the Dallas Cowboys should prove to everybody out there that you know only started liking football because of fantasy or or because of betting or so on and so forth, it proves to everybody that, you know, play calling does not come from, you know, just the quarterback or these guys running it. They don't decide what they're doing. It's the coaching staff that tells them what to do. A lot of people are going to blame Zeke for not, you know, doing well or, or Dak for not doing well. And it's the same kind of phrase I always use. Players aren't being put in a position to succeed. It comes down to the coaching staff. You have talented players. Uh, you have to have a talented coach to put them in the right position, and that's not happening right now. You know, I, I always talk about the GM, and this is in every sport, how the GM has the ability to uh, fire and replace a coach at just the perfect time where it makes him look good. And I'll just give you a couple of examples. One is, first of all, in, in soccer last year, Man United, they fired Jose Mourinho uh, at the perfect Nobody time. Nobody knows so, who oh, these on, people on. are. I know, hold on. But they were struggling, but they had a cupcake schedule coming up of five games. They fired the coach, brought in a new manager. Man United won five games in a row, and the guy, looked, they looked like geniuses. Now, we'll go to hockey. Uh, Dubas of Toronto, he fired Babcock at absolutely the right time. They came off a loss against um, the Golden Knights. Against um, an area team that was struggling against the Colorado team with injuries, and then Detroit, Buffalo, Buffalo. Now, they win five straight games under uh, under Keefe because they should win these two games against the Sabres today and tomorrow. Okay, they should win them. Five and no. Oh. He looks... Yeah, we get it, Carm. We get it. I got to stop. I got to stop you. All right. 
We okay, get it. We ahead. get it. We get it. Yes. Brilliant. You're amazing. Namaste. Uh, let's just get this show finished because uh, I got to do a uh, betting edge show. I'm stretching. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Best logo in sports. Um, Tony to went 1 and 0. Guys, Tony went 1 and 0 on Thursday in the NFL. He had the under in the Dallas game. Uh, he went 2 and 1 last Sunday. He's on a 7 and 1 NFL run. Dude is 35 and 15 this NFL season. 35 and 15. Those are the most ridiculous numbers. We are in week 13. Unbelievable stuff. He keeps on rolling. I took $100 off of his NFL season uh, all the way through to the Super Bowl. Uh, use the promo code TONYNFL and you get his entire NFL until the Super Bowl for 295 bucks. And don't forget our Thanksgiving special, 40% off of any 90-day or one-year all sports package use the coupon code black friday four games let's go vegas minus 162 against arizona over and under five and a half vegas in regulation feels like the play to me andrew i'm gonna go with the over in this one uh arizona's actually been playing some decent hockey right now the past three games they haven't played the best teams but they're still scoring and they've been contending against Pretty much everybody. So uh, I think they'll get some goals on Vegas. And Vegas hasn't really looked like themselves uh, recently. Uh, they've been struggling against teams they shouldn't be struggling against. And until that comes back like to the regular to the regular ways, I'm going to grab an over any time I can get a five and a half with them. So I'll go ahead and take the over. Carmine? Yeah, I agree. You're getting uh, essentially the, the backup goalies for both teams here. Uh, Comfer's in net. Uh, Ra uh, Ranta for Arizona is still sick. And uh, also, it's uh, Malcolm Subban and Ned tonight for uh, for the Knights. Uh, Columbus plus one ten against Pittsburgh. Over and under is six. I like Pittsburgh here, Andrew. Yeah, I definitely am not going to back Columbus. Uh, I'm not a fan of this team at all. Uh, I don't like what they're doing. I I just I hate. I hate the way they construct their whole team. They, they almost they they play for a one nothing victory every game, and it always collapses on them. And they end up having to play in a high scoring game, and they're not capable of winning those games. The only time they've ever won those games uh, has been against you know teams like Winnipeg that aren't great on defense anymore. Teams like Detroit, even uh, Montreal is going through a pretty bad slump right now. They beat them. Any good team is beating Columbus right now by margin. Uh, you know, strictly just based off the fact that they can't score. Uh, and they can't compete for a full 60 minutes. So, uh, you know, Pittsburgh's actually playing good hockey right now. They won an 8-6 hockey game the other day, so they can obviously score. Uh, and it's well, only dude, minus they, came back, they came back from down five goals. And, you know, I want to actually speak to that, Carm. Uh, I think all three of us bet at Bet365. Uh, they have a rule there where if you are three goals up on your opponent, you cash out your bet. Anybody who bet Vancouver actually won their bet at Bet365, even though they lost by two goals. An amazing thing. Yeah, it's um, if the law ever changes, uh, Bet365 will enter the U.S. market, uh, and you guys will be able to take advantage of that. They've got some some. Some great early cash out rules it's amazing. Uh, in every in every sport. Yeah, in basketball, I think if they're up uh, seventeen points, uh, which happens a lot in basketball, especially the modern day basketball that we're seeing now, they cash out your bet. It's it's great. It's great to not have to worry about a game and like this one here, six three and they lose. All right. So what do you like as, in as this game, as, Carm? We as far, I, I the listen. Uh, Columbus is a, a product of what they did last season. They went all in last season. It didn't work out for them. Uh, they lost a lot of players, and they're just going to have to be one of those teams that's going to fill that 11th or 12th spot uh, in the Eastern Conference. Uh, Pens are playing really well with without uh, Crosby. It's Pens for me here. Uh, Carolina minus 130 against Nashville, a total of six and a half. I have no opinion, Andrew. Uh, it's I find it tough because uh, Carolina's 
looked actually decent these days. They look like a pretty good team. Yeah. They're, they're scoring goals. If I were to make a play, it sounds like I have a lot of over uh, leans today, but it actually would be the over. Carolina averaging 3.4 goals per game on the season, uh, which is really peculiar because we know actually quite the under team. Uh, so I would look at that. Nashville's kind of found their way again. Warren, they competed against Vegas, came up short. Uh, you know, they scored against St. Louis, Vancouver. They're scoring some high scoring games. Five of their last seven have been uh, over the total. Uh, you know, they're scoring on the road as well. I think it's very important when you're betting overs and the team's on the road. Look at how they're doing on the road, not just at home. And you also look at power play percentages. And Nashville's power play is certainly helping them out quite a bit. Uh, you know, but I, I really think that this team, this game could go over. And if they start clicking, getting their top guys to score. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, you know what? Uh, for me, for me, uh, 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 just they, they haven't shown me the consistency to win on the road. Uh, last year at this time, they were going through. I think it was uh, either seven in a row or nine in a row uh, on the road losses. Um, just no consistency from this team. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, they're not going to go into Carolina. I can't see them going to Carolina uh, and, and winning here. So Carolina for me. Statement game for Dallas. They want to beat St. Louis, that's for sure. That's who they're going to have to go through. Minus 150 with a total of five. I think that's the fourth or fifth time all year we've seen a five. Uh, and yet both of these teams, although incredible on defense, can score goals. I like the over, Andrew. Every time I see a five, Prez, I pretty much bet it, bet it on the over, and unless I'm really convinced it's going to be a, a flat, low-scoring game, so I like the over. Uh, but in a game like this, I'm going with the plus money. I'm going with the St. Louis Blues, plus 136. I got it at Bet Online, and uh, I think they'll come out with a good performance. They're scoring recently, and uh, their goaltender is just outstanding, man. Like Jordan Bennington is locked down. He, I, I feel like their players take him for granted. You know, they have so many odd man rushes, they give up so many chances, but he is just absolutely dynamite. He was the best goalie in the league for the second half of the season last year, and it seems to me he's picking up right where he left off. So uh, I'm not fading Bennington, and uh, I'm going to back him. And but I would look to the over again. Just five, I think. Worst case scenario, we get the push. Uh, guys, remember, uh, put uh, please in the comment section. Put down who's going to win. Between Toronto and Buffalo, uh, I don't think Carmine could have picked an easier game to choose. Uh, and what the score is going to be, it's for Saturday night's game. Uh, and then you'll go into a raffle. If you win uh, that raffle, uh, three people will win a one-week all-access to Carmine Bianco's NHL place. And Car guys, what, just, Andrew? Just, just, just because I, I, I don't usually do this, I did want to let everybody know, you said earlier, the code is Black Friday to use any code for any package. I think it's 90 days. Uh, that's the one I recommend grabbing. I'm doing college basketball, NBA, uh, NHL, and NFL. Uh, but this is obviously a hockey show. Right now I'm 39 and 26, my last 65 picks for plus 47 units uh, on the NHL season. If you join me, you're going to get probably between one to three NHL picks uh, per day at one NBA pick, usually, and one college basketball. So with those two uh, basketball sports, I pick my spots. And with NHL, I usually get between one to three picks. Uh, you know, I just want to throw that out there. That I mean, was beautiful, close Andrew. Close 50 units past 65. That was beautiful. You're growing up right in and, front of our very eyes. Carm, yeah, take us home. I got another show to do. Dallas has won their last seven at home, uh, nine of the last ten. They're playing phenomenal hockey right now. Uh, I understand the Blues, but Ben Bishop at home, I'm, I'm taking uh, Dallas here. That's the show, boys. I don't think it was one of our best, largely because the host's mind was all over the place. Uh, I'll take the blame for that. Uh, we'll see no, you. That's good. Oh, shut up, Carm. We'll see you Monday, guys. Uh, Andrew and Alex on Monday. Have yourselves an incredible day, an absolutely sensational weekend. I hope the puck bounces for you in the direction you need. Uh, and uh, make sure to check out The Betting Edge, Marco D'Angelo and Jeff from Oskheim Sports. I'm the Prez. Out of here! <laughs>